A digital revolution is impacting positively the education sector in Eastern African nations. However, many challenges face implementation of such projects due to the high cost of internet and low penetration levels of smart devices. Joining us to discuss this and more is uh, Karun Kandoy, Global Business Resident at uh, Extramarks. Uh, thank you for making time, Karun. Uh, let's just start this off with uh, the impact of uh, the digital revolution on the continent. Are we putting the, the carriage before the horse here? Uh, yes, uh, internet penetration is still very low, but there are hardly any textbooks in many of these schools. Thank you, Arnold. Uh, I think the digital revolution is just starting to happen, especially in the field of education. And what we see right now is just the tip of the iceberg. With the increase of penetration starting from like right now, currently at about 20% in the continent of the mobile and connectivity, this is growing very fast and that trend is going to help education. But unfortunately, still education is trailing as opposed to leading the trend. Um, and uh, companies like ours are making significant investments to make sure that the trend is reversed. Right. Uh, we've uh, seen extra marks across the continent uh, coming up with these amazing initiatives. But uh, again, where does the government come together with the private sector? Just give us a sense of uh, the middle ground. Right. As far as extra marks is concerned, we work very, very closely with the government in making sure that our curriculum is, our content is completely aligned to the local curriculum. For example, when we talk of South Africa or when we talk of Zimbabwe, we make sure our content has the currency references, the local references, all the, all the socioeconomic factor of the content is taken, the curriculum is taken care in our content. We invest a significant amount of time and energy in making sure our content is relevant to this part of the nation. In addition to that, we have invested significantly in ensuring we provide experiential one-to-one -one digital learning to our learners. It's bagless. It uh, reaches to the every nook and corner of the continent. Making sure that, uh, about talking about the distribution of this uh, initiative, there are two things. One, we work very closely with the governments. We are advocating this product and we are advocating the other best initiatives that can be adopted to make sure the learners of Africa come up to the point of, uh, of the learners of any other part of the world. However, we are not restricting our initiatives to just to that. We are also forming partnerships with companies like Telcom South Africa, with Liquid Telcom, to make sure our product is available to the learners who are keen to adopt it sooner than let later by the means of these channels. In fact, some of the schools, uh, some government schools and some private schools have come together with the parents associations and the teachers associations and their own uh, um, funds to make sure these projects are implemented in their schools successfully. Right. Right. Uh, Karun, very briefly before I let you go, let's talk about internet penetration. Yes, Kenya is doing very well, just over 40% in internet penetration. Tanzania is just barely below 4%. Uganda is at 17%. Rwanda is not doing so good. What is right. Extra Marks doing to actually push the, many of these products? Yes, the Internet of Things is getting very popular, but push the products, push the internet also up in, in a bid to uh, digitize much of our learning across the continent. Right. Arnold, we as a company believe that the education should reach to every nook and corner and every learner, irrespective of the penetration of internet and, and the mobile devices and everything. So as a company, what we have done is we make sure all our solutions work on both online and offline mode. So there are instances of our implementation where the connectivity of a school or a learner is close to zero. Still, the teachers and students and the learners themselves are able to learn and engage and be a better learner through our digital learning solutions. So while we are hoping that the internet penetration is going to increase and there, are, there is a lot of focus of a lot of governments to increase that, we as a company are not dependent on it. 
we are investing in technologies to make sure our solutions work offline and we don't depend on these uh, too much. Uh, many Plus, thanks, Karun, uh, for those insights. I'm afraid uh, that, that's, that's all the time that uh, we did have. Uh, that's where we have to leave it. I love that you do mention offline and online.